Hey guys, hope you're all well. Hope your Ramzan is going well too. Mine's going pretty good. I think this year I've tried to be methodical, as methodical as I can be, really with nutrition, training, that kind of stuff. It doesn't always pan out, but I've tried. So in this video, what I'm gonna do is just show you guys that if you wanna to go to the gym or you wanna even start the gym, you can do it whilst you're fasting, it's possible. You can eat in a way that can like preserve muscle, preserve shape. We're gonna show the gym and we're gonna show generally what I get from like the supermarket, the kinds of things that I buy to preserve muscle and how I eat. It's gonna be a little bit of a casual one, guys. It might be a little bit all over the place. Bear with me doing the best I can. I'm recording on the mobile phone today. So let's crack on with this and hopefully we'll get a good video in and I hope you guys enjoy. One thing I have to do today is pick up a mattress, guys, and actually walk it to my flat. Let's see how I get on. A little bit anxious about how heavy this is gonna be. I need to actually take it back to a place in town. It's like a 10 minute walk, but with something heavy, and it's, it's more the fact that I think it's gonna be uncomfortable to hold and awkward rather than heavy. So we'll see, we'll see. To be fair, guys, that's not that big. That's actually, that's gonna be fine to hold. But, oh, oh. Let's take this back to the apartment. Guys, anxiety all gone, you know, talking about keeping in shape over Ramadan. Do stuff like this, lug mattresses around town all day. And if I get tired, you know the joke is coming. You know it's coming. I can lay it down and then I can lay it down. This actually, I'm gonna pick you up guys. This actually is not too bad. It's not too bad. I've got maybe a five to 10 minute walk. Not bad. And then what we'll do is we'll crack on with the video and I'll show you some of the things that I get when I want to stay in shape over Ramadan. This is just part of the like the exercise routine. That is the gym done. What we're gonna do now guys, actually go get some food. I wanna show you what I buy sort of typically through the week, especially in Ramadan to sort of preserve muscle, keep in shape, that kind of stuff. Hello. <laughs> Let's go to Tesco guys. I'm gonna show you some cool stuff in here. Like there's some great meat options here. I think they've got off like a proper halal butchers in this specific one. And my gym partner Hoss has told me about these carrot cake, no carrot cake muffins. Carrot cake muffins, supposed to be insane. So I'm looking forward to this. Rosa, the fast is hitting hard today. So yeah, let's go inside. And uh, let me show you some of my favorite stuff to get to kind of, you know, preserve the old uh, shape of room. First things first, what I hate to do is find parking. Good thing I'm not driving. Always got to take some bags because they charge you now. So um, always take my own. You got to save the five piece when you can, guys. You got to save the five piece. <laughs> guys, so I love this scan as you shop thing. So you basically scan here. Boop. Oh, pick up the one that's lit up. There we go. You can tell I don't do this very often. And then you can uh, just scan as you go. Oh, this says subscribe to Ali's YouTube channel if you want to see more content. Also says priceless. That's so nice, Tesco. Thank you. All right, so we're going to start just with some veg. We're going to start with some veg. We're going to grab some carrots. Literally, guys, all you got to do is scan, which I've done. I scan the carrots. They come up on here, and you can make adjustments to your basket if you need to, and then you just bag them. Fairly simple, you know, pretty quick, and just saves time at the end queuing, really. I'm going to show you guys an amazing thing with these leeks, right? But you've got to watch to find out. Maybe not today, but something really cool with these. Nectarines, I love these. I much prefer these to peaches, right? Because peaches have that fluff on them. These are nice, and they're only 95p. Also, these guys are 100% not natty. So I eat lots of fruit. I eat at least two portions a day, usually more. I love berries, super low uh, calories. I'm really feeling as well, but nectarines are one of my favorite things to eat. So this Tesco has a decent amount of like Shazans and that kind of stuff. All that stuff is gone, which is a bit of a shame. Bank holiday, you know, that's what it is. Um, usually quite well stocked. So we get some food here, but they do have an actual um, proper butcher around the corner. So we're going to check those out as well. But I am tempted actually to try these Thai style chicken burgers. And all you've got to do is literally done shows on there in the bag done so here's the halal section here's the halal butchers but if we just turn we come down here we look here the butcher actually has his own section so they sort of pre-cut and everything they pre-cut everything and put it here i think we're going to put these in the instant pot here with some potatoes and spices i might put that in the video this evening guys but in terms of the butchers, it's a bank holiday, but they still have a really, really good selection, actually. Flavoured meats and non-flavoured, you know, marinated, non-marinated, that kind of stuff. Good amount of, uh, yeah, food, chicken. There's, uh, I think there's beef down there, a little bit of lamb left as well. Because I can definitely make that into like a really healthy, delicious, tasty meal. 
think that's what I'm gonna have at the end of the video. I think what I'm gonna do, guys, is try these nudge my wings i've not tried these but i do like the brand haven't tried these i'm definitely going to try them in fact if i just back up a little bit this whole section here is like a halal section which is pretty pretty cool we've got some daily meats going on we've got some paneers that's some cheese um yeah lots and lots of meats and lassies but today i'm going to try these i do actually i love these but they're super calorific so not today but we are going to try oh, sorry let's grab that one that's one i touched some Najma wings. These guys are absolutely awesome. So these are called Faye. These are yogurt with honey, super high in protein, low in calorie, quite filling actually. But uh, yeah, I, I absolutely love these. You, my friend, are getting taken home. Guys, I cannot wait to try these. My gym partner and very close friend, Hoss, said these are absolutely fantastic. So we're gonna give these a go. I think they've got some cream cheese on top and in the middle. Uh, I might test these in this video or maybe on tiktok i don't know when i'm going to fit it into my calories but these i know it kind of goes against the video but come on man you got to cheat a tiny bit so yeah i'm looking forward to trying these little tippy poo actually one of my little secrets that i like to use i love fizzy drink love fizzy drink however i'm trying to cut it down so what i do is actually have things like fizzy water this doesn't taste like sparkling water which i think is horrible this actually just tastes like if you were to get like the mango of this it tastes like Rubicon mango, kind of, kind of. I think it's a good way to get in your water, especially over Ramadan, and actually have a little bit of treat at the end of the day, because this is essentially water with a touch of flavor. Check this out, try it, let me know what you think. And this is my greatest weakness, crisps. My greatest weakness. I have a little bit over Ramadan. I've got some at home, but uh, I'm not going to get any today. I'm going to be good. Everyone has a thing, right? Some people like chocolate, some people like sweets. For me, it's crisps. Crunchy, savory, salty, that combination. Too good. Another way to spruce up your water, guys, is just get quadruple strength orange and mango because then you only need a little bit, so the calories are next to zero, but you get in your water. And then at the end, guys, all you gotta do is go to the self service -y bit and just pay. You know, when you're fasting, guys, everything just seems so much harder. Like, carry these bottles, it's so much harder. Um, I'm so tired. But uh, we're gonna take all of this home and uh, gonna chill for a little bit, do some editing, and then what I may do is show you guys dinner so what i'll actually eat to kind of yeah be a bit healthy during ramadan okay so it's time to put all of this away okay so put all the food away is that not the worst part of shopping so you know you get all the stuff and you're like hmm i'm gonna eat that and you come home and you forget you've actually got to put it all away so yeah food's been put away i kind of know what i want to eat so uh, i can prepare that later so yeah i'm gonna have a little nap now I'm going to edit some videos. That's all I'm doing at the moment because if you guys have noticed, I've put up a lot of videos in the last like two weeks. I think in like 12 or 13 days, I think I might have uploaded every day apart from one. So yeah, I'm really on that grind. I want to put out as much content as I can. I want to put out more vloggy stuff as well as reviews. So I'll be trying to sort of practice, get better at it and whatnot. So because I want to make good content. I don't want to just show you snippets of my life that are boring. So yeah, nap time, I'm gonna edit, and then it's gonna be iftar time, which I cannot wait for today. That's my nap done. Now let's prepare the food. So quick shot of some of the stuff I'm gonna use. So we've got some carrots here, some potatoes and onion, we've got some beef, and then we're gonna have some sort of herbs and spices and stuff. This is gonna be something that's super easy, like nutritious, very quick to make as well. I'm gonna put everything in here, but you don't need an instant pot, but it's what I'm using today. What we're gonna start by doing is I'm gonna peel all this stuff, and then I'm gonna cut it. That's the carrots peeled and chopped. Let's now move on to the potatoes. Now let's cut up this meat. It's looking pretty good to be fair. Do you know what guys, this meat actually looks pretty good. We've got about 800 grams of this. I can't wait to show you the uh, finished product. Okay guys, so what we're gonna do is go to saute mode on the Instant Pot, and then we're gonna just chuck in a little bit of oil. Not too much, because it's quite calorific. I'm gonna use the Instant Pot. Obviously you guys don't need to. You could use like a slow cooker or anything really. What I like when I'm fasting is something quick, tasty lots of protein uh, easily customizable so what i mean by that is i'll show you how i flavor this but you could put i don't know fajita seasoning you could put allspice curry powder jerk seasoning kind of anything you want that's what i want in fasting easy tasty high protein and this i'm gonna make this meal and it will be like four meals in one so let me show you everything going into the pot and all the flavors and all that kind of stuff how i season it so i'm gonna start by putting in all this beef this should be like super hot yeah it is and then what we're going to do is put in some onions and garlic. And oh, these are the carrots, onions, and potatoes I peeled and cut up earlier. Oh, here that sizzle, guys. So all we're doing now is we're browning off the beef. We put some onions and garlic in here. That is it so far. 
it's pretty much ready for the next stage, which is putting in some onion, cumin, chili, uh, bay leaf, and some garlic. Garlic seriously has such a lovely smell. And I'm so hungry, I'm fasting. So I just recorded a massive segment, but my phone didn't want to record it. Point is, I put all of the seasonings in here. I eyeball pretty much everything, guys. So for example, I decided to put some curry powder in today. Why not? And then put in some salt and pepper as well. It started to smell absolutely unbelievable. I think this is the first time I've done any kind of cooking on here. I'm kind of excited. I'll keep it real, guys. I'm kind of excited. I'm not just to eat. This is fun. Now we're just gonna put this stuff in guys and then we're gonna put it for around 12 minutes on the pressure cook mode and add uh, some like water and gravy and stuff. Right, this is a gravy stock pot. It just makes life easier. Sometimes, you know, we do make our own gravy, but honestly it's just easier sometimes just to use it, especially when I'm fasting. I want something easy, quick and just doable. You know, I don't have to think too much. Give this a nice stir guys. This is gonna be so flavorful, I can already tell. Pretty excited, man. I'm pretty excited. This is going to taste so good. You'll be surprised what 12 minutes will do to this. So that's going to cook for 12 minutes. I'm also going to make a couple of little other things next to it because I'm really hungry today. So I want to show you that you can have super healthy, delicious food like this, but also, you know, treat yourself a little bit. Don't these just look good, guys? Don't they look good? These are just literally going to go straight, guys, in the air fry. So super simple and quick. Also, I forgot to say, uh, going to boil some pasta and put it in there for some carbs as well, some extra carbs. The Instant Pot is too strong. It'll basically just dissolve those. And don't forget, guys, you've got to get in your fruits and veggies. I know it's Ramadan, but you've still got to get them in. Yeah, it doesn't really matter what time of year it is. Fruits and veggies are compulsory, guys. You need to get them in just for your general health and well-being. Obviously, this video is a little bit more about keeping in shape, muscle, that kind of stuff. But overall, get in your fruits and veggies for sure. Guys, one must say, these look really, really good. Massive, look at the size of that. That looks like a drumstick to me. They look great. Try these wings off camera, guys, and they are delicious. They're like crunchy, spicy, incredibly tender meat, incredibly tender. These are the best spicy wings or frozen wings I've ever had from anywhere. This bit's all scary. We've got to let the pressure out, guys. Woohoo! There we go, figured it out. Okay, so let's look inside, guys. So we just twist this bad boy. Then we should be able to look straight. Oh, hot diggity. I cannot wait to go into that. And then what I'm gonna do, just a few extra carbs. I'm just gonna put in this pasta, guys, this pasta. Then we're literally just gonna mix it in. And I honestly, I cannot wait to tuck into this, guys. I actually cannot wait. Look at that broth at the bottom there. This is gonna be lovely. Guys, this soup you're gonna get here is gonna be so nice. This is a healthy, delicious, and tasty plate of food. So let's try something, because I've uh, not eaten anything, obviously. This is my iftar, so on camera, let's give it a go. Let's get a little bit of carrot. Let's get a little bit of everything. A little bit of carrot, a little bit of pasta, a little bit of beef. Um, <laughs> but like I said, this is a super customizable meal. You can put any kind of flavor you want in there. Chocolate and curry powder today. First time I've actually done that. That's so good. With this meal right here, Oh, that's warm. With this meal right here, there's enough for like four or five portions. I'll probably have a sedi as well. I have the same thing. What I showed you guys earlier, absolute game changer. Honestly, add it, even if you don't like sparkling water, which I hate with a passion, sparkling water, you're going to love sort of fizzy water with flavour. It doesn't taste like sparkling water whatsoever. And those wings, next level. Like I said at the beginning of the video, you know, I'm definitely no expert, but at the same time, I definitely know more than the average person in regards to, you know, eating some foods that you enjoy, but also being in relatively good shape. During Ramadan, a lot of my habits don't change. So I eat high protein foods. I eat sort of relatively clean or non-review days and I train, I make sure to exercise. That's one of those things that you just, you cannot avoid if you want to keep your muscle mass particularly, you have to train. Obviously you may lose a rep here or there. You may lose like a touch bit of strength, but I think you guys would be surprised with how well you do if you just crack on as per normal. I train during the day because I've got a routine. I train with someone who's incredibly serious. He's a competitive bodybuilder. But for most of you, I would just train before iftar. But yeah, make sure to hydrate for sure. Eat lots of fruits, lots of veggies, lots of high protein foods. And if you want to treat yourself a little bit, like I did today, you can do that as well. So some treats within moderation are absolutely fine to eat. If you guys like this kind of content, it's pretty casual, it's pretty chilled out. If you want to see stuff like this, make sure you hit subscribe, like the video, just so you know, it gives me a good indication that you want to see this kind of content. And talking of this kind of content, here's a video I released for Costco. This is a halal Costco food haul. So make sure to check that out for some great recommendations on some stuff to get from Costco. And also here's a playlist for some of my favorite videos. Thank you so much for watching by right until the end. I really appreciate you guys. Please make sure to like and please remember to subscribe and I'll see you all in that next video. Bye 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 bye.